Hi and welcome back. While you are enjoying the view of the Hollywood sign, the shot is actually taken from the roof of our DCC museum. Quite a few viewers have contacted me about cleaning the hats of DCC players. The design of all players makes it nearly impossible to reach all components that need cleaning and therefore Philips advised the hats to be cleaned with a regular cleaning cassette like the SBC 3500. The problem with these cleaning cassettes is that they are no longer produced and they do get dirty very quickly. You can even see how grey the files on this example already are. A more permanent solution is to manually clean the hats, pinch rollers and cap stands and today we are going to show you how to do this. It is a fairly easy job and all you need is a Phillips screwdriver, some isopropyl alcohol and cotton swabs. The first question that needs answering is how often should you clean the various parts? If you are only using DCC tapes, once or maybe twice a year should be sufficient. DCC tapes are made of different chrome materials and are basically videotapes. If you are also using regular analog tapes, more cleaning might be needed as they shed substantially more. For that reason, our advice is to never use regular analog tapes on any DCC player. The second question is to why some third generation players like the DCC 951 and 730 show the clean head message so often and irregularly. The reason is that when there is the slightest difference in contact between the tape and the head, this message will appear. In most cases, it does not actually mean that your hat needs cleaning. It is just a misinterpretation of the player caused by older DCC tapes. In this example we are using the Philips DCC 900, but the technique will work on any player. After removing 7 screws we are able to remove the cover of this Philips DCC 900 by gently lifting it from the back. We now have all the access we need for cleaning all vital parts, the head, pinch rollers and cap stands. We start by cleaning the head. Dip the cotton swab in the isopropyl that you can easily get on Amazon or at any local pharmacy and gently swipe in a bottom to top movement. Then we move on to the right pinch roller and capstan. Take a new cotton swab, dip it in the isopropyl and in a bottom to top movement clean the rubber. Make sure that you do the entire pinch roller. Also clean the right capstan. Now we do the same for the left pinch roller and capstan. That's actually all there is to it. If you feel that you would like to gain easier access in the future, you might want to consider not putting back all the screws. So it's easier to remove the cover next time you want to clean the head. Thank you for watching and see you next time.